right, excitement all around. It is also an exciting day for the folks in a Hyde Park in Oakley. The Marburg Bridge is finally reopened and nine on your sides. Jacqueline Diagostino, she joins us live now from the bridge this morning. Jacqueline, crews are reopening the bridge a little bit ahead of schedule, right? Yeah, so Tamika, the bridge is actually reopening two weeks ahead of schedule. There's going to be a ribbon cutting ceremony here at three o'clock this afternoon to celebrate the reopening. And there's already some work crews out here bright and early, putting those finishing touches on the bridge ahead of that reopening. And the city's asking any neighbors to come out here, bring their own scissors to help cut that ribbon here at the Marburg Bridge. Now, the construction, of course, is a little bit of a lengthy process. It's been closed here right around Wasson Way uh, for the past six months since March. And that's because the bridge, the old bridge, rather, Rather, had to be completely taken down. It was just no longer safe to drive on, so they had to take, put in a, an entirely new bridge. And the Marburg Bridge reopening is good news for more than just drivers in the area. I know for some of the businesses in East Hyde Park, you know, they've lost some business, um, but hopefully with this getting back up, you know, it'll open up that whole East Hyde Park Business Association again. <laughs> And keep in mind, if you do drive in this area, there is going to be some minor construction that's going to be going on for the next week or two, and that's mainly going to impact those that are going to be walking on the bridge for going out for a walk. It's going to impact you, but you can drive on this. It's going to be ready to go at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live from the Marburg Avenue Bridge this morning, Jacqueline Diagostino, 9 on your side.